What is up, you guys? It's Violet Taylor here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, this item shop is going to be taking us from the Thursday, sorry, the Thursday, Thursday the 2nd of March into the early morning of the 3rd of March, which is going to be Friday. The weekend is finally upon us. It's mad to think that it's already March and it's already the first weekend in March. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Last night, we had the FNCS Chapter 4 Season 1 bundle with your main man Jonesy ahead of it. Really, really cool. Definitely recommend grabbing this. We then move on to the Falcon Clan bundle. We had the Dead Eye, the Bright Storm, the Grim Fable, the Corrupted Voyager, and some really cool items in the Daily Store. But what we're going to get tonight in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Have we got it? Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Woo! I was so happy to know that this is coming out tonight. I didn't want to miss it over the weekend. Anyway, as you guys can see, we have the brand new Creed bundle. And as you guys can see, he has 10 style options. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So we start off with Adonis Creed. Every punch I've ever thrown has been my own. So, part of the Creed set. So, let's check out these styles. So, if we go through the main styles, as you guys can see, we've got the default. We have the Bionic Creed. We have the Robe Off, which is pretty much the Bionic um, Creed with the Robe Off. We have the Gloves Off. And then we have the last option with the Robe and Gloves Off. Okay, not bad, not bad. Moving us back to the default, we have the option to have the different colorway. So we've got Adonis, and then we've got the main event. Jeez, I'm assuming this is going to be in the film. We then have the, um, okay, yeah, let me switch back to the alternate colorway, well, the default. So we've got the Bionic Creed Emissives off. We can have the Packed Punch Blue. So if we go back to the, ah, jeez, that is sick. So you can even change the color of the Bionics. We then move on to the Pack Punch Orange. Ah, I don't know which one I like more, the blue or the orange. What do you reckon? Orange. Okay, okay, I like the orange, the orange is cool. Anyway, moving us on to his bat bling, we have the heavy bag. Adonis Creed Athletics Training Equipment on the go. Literally just say Adonis Creed Athletics. Really, really cool, absolutely badass. I love the fact that when you move it, the chains move as well. It might be a very small detail, but some games don't do stuff like that. Anyway, moving us on to the harvesting tool, we have the knockout pick. Knock him out, sorry, knock him down for the count. So we've got two styles for this. We have the default, which is the blue. We have the emissive orange. And then we have the alternate to have the emissive off. Last but not least, we have the built-in emote. Target training. Keep your eyes on the mitts. Jeez! Yo, this is sick. Again, I already knew about this all coming out, but seeing it in game is totally different when you see it on my paper. So I don't actually think that that's a built-in emote. I think you can use that with anyone, which makes it extra special, because again, I just use it with the Batman skin. Anyway, I will be doing a Is It Not Worth It bundle video on this after this video, so stay tuned for that. Moving us on to the featured store. Ooh! I didn't know about this. So, we've got a brand new wrap, the Sour Scourge, an animated wrap. So, as you guys can see, it is animated over the entire weapon. We've got, like, some green flames. Looks like we got some particle effects, like some sparkles as well. I like it. It sold me. <laughs> I like it. It's wacky, it's weird, it's bright. I'll take it. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the legendary Ice Queen. Now, as you guys can see, it starts off with additional quests that it will pretty much tell you um, how to unlock. But if we move on to the styles for the Ice Queen, long live the Queen part of the Ice Kingdom set, first introduced in the OG Season 7. So if we go through the styles, it'll literally tell you what the challenges are. So we've got the default here, which is the blue. We then have the first colorway, which is the black, so we have to outlast a thousand opponents. Which, if you think about it, a hundred opponents a game, bear in mind you're not going to win every game, so if you can outlast an average of what? Even if you outlast an average of 50 opponents a game, Simple match. Again, I'm trying to work it out with mass, but it's probably not going to work. But you're going to get it eventually. You won't take that long. Anyway, we've got the black. We've got the silver for outlasting 5,000 opponents. And then last but not least, we have the gold for outlasting 10,000 opponents. Now, 
I don't know the best colorway. I, I change my mind every time. At the moment, I'm probably swinging to more gold, but then I like silver. It just depends. Anyway, moving us onto the bat bling, we have the legendary ice spikes. Clad yourself in jagged ice. Again, we've got several styles for this. We've got the blue. We've got the black. Again, these will be unlocked alongside you getting the um, outlast for the um, default colorways. Again, we've got the silver. And then last but not least, we have the gold. Again, very, very cool. So you're pretty much unlock them at the same time. Moving us onto the Ice Bringer Harvesting Tool, we have Bitter Cold. With some nice little particle effects there. Moving us onto the styles for this, this you don't need to um, outlast anybody. I think these are just unlocked from the jump. So you've got the blue, you've got the black, you've got the silver, and then last but not least, you have the gold. Moving us on to our second skin in the featured store, we have the Legendary Deadfire. Legendary Deadfire. This town ain't big enough. Now, as you guys can see, it says the skin reacts and transforms by dealing damage or by outliving other players. Just a shame you can't use this skin for outliving other players um, to unlock the Ice Queen. Anyway, you got the default here with a nice little uh, transformation there. You also have the alternate colorway, which is the ghost version, which is very, very cool. Jeez. Moving us on to the bat bling, we have the legendary shackled stone. Keep it contained. Again, the reactiveness is for when you deal damage and for when you uh, outlast opponents. Again, we've got the default. And then we have the ghost version. Moving us away from this, we have the return of the Dark Shard Harvesting Tool. Splintered from Geometric Perfection. Again, this is reactive and it transforms by dealing damage or by outliving opponents. First introduced in the OG Season 6, part of the Western Wild set. So we've got the default. We then have the Spectre Shard. Moving us on to the second half of the featured store, we have the return of the Dino Guard Bundle. Now... We have the return of the Crystal Skin and the Bronto, as most people have um, nicknamed him um, Fortnite's Barney. Anyway, really, really cool. Moving us on to... The, oh, sorry. I have already covered this in its own Is It Always in a Worth It Bundle video. That's why I'm not going through it all the way. Anyway, moving us on to the third half of the featured store. We have the return of the Legendary Oppressor. Out of time and out for vengeance. Part of the Domination set. First introduced in the OG Season X. You guys can see we've got the default here. And then if we move on to the alternate colorway, we have the blue, which is looking very, very cool. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the legendary Exo Spine. Always carry a spare. So we've got two styles for this again. We've got the default. And then we've got the blue. I don't know what it is for me. The blue just doesn't... It just doesn't pop as it should for some reason. Anyway, moving us away from this, we have the... Flat, um, I always struggle when it comes to this. The flat, the flat, uh, plasmatic edge. There you go. Anyway, calibrated for absolute domination. Again, we've got two styles. So look at this one. You've got the red one. Yeah, this one stands out. Then you go to the blue one. It's a bit, eh. It's all right. It's not terrible. But anyway, moving us off from that, we move on to the leg uh, legendary. The animated angle fired wrap. Not, well, it's not reactive, but it's animated. It has like a strobe effect going down the weapon. Looking very, very cool now. On various different weapon models. Moving us on to the return of the Spire Immortal skin. The Spire's Final Nightmare. Part of the Looming Spire set. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. Literally the primal season. I missed that season. Just when we first got to the ability to ride mounts and stuff, which was very cool. Moving us onto the back bling, we have the Spire's Touch. Dark magic always leaves its mark. Again, I love the fact that these are kind of like animated, so it looks like they're like trying to claw, um, which is very, very cool. Moving us onto the Harvesting Tool, we have the Spire Shard. Forged in the Spire's Fury. Again, we've got some nice little flame particle effect there, which is very, very cool. 
Moving us on to the third half of the featured store, sorry, fourth half of the featured store, we have the return of the Snow Clan bundle, or as I like to call it, the Sub Zero bundle and Frost bundle. Anyway, really, really cool. Definitely recommend grabbing these guys. These are definitely some different looking skins. And I also love the kind of like, um, oh, I forgot what it's called. The design on their robe looks like a Greek tile pattern. I forgot what it's called. There is a name for it, but it escapes me. Anyway, I have already covered these in their own Is It or Is It, it, is it, or is it Not Worth It bundle video as well. Last but not least, in the daily store, we have the return of some really cool items. So, we have the first item, which is the Astro Assassin. Out of, sorry, out of this atmosphere. First introduced in the OG Season 9. Looking very, very cool. I absolutely love the blues on there. Really, really cool. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the Cryo Hops. This bunny's just chilling, <laughs> which is very, very cute. I get very, very biased when it comes to this kind of stuff because it's very cute. Anyway, this bunny's chilling. Anyway, moving us on to the High Rise Assault Trooper, another little snapshot of Jonesy. Rise to the top, first introduced in OG Season 2. I like it, I like it. Moving us on to the items in the daily store, we have the first item on the back, which is the tactical spade harvesting tool. Destined, sorry, designed for survival. Again, you don't want to get hit with one of these because it's game over. It's game over from the jump. Anyway, moving us on to the four player emote, synchronized emote that is, we have the jug band. Every Rock, uh, sorry, every rollicking hootenanny starts with a single jug. Now, as you guys can see, the description says, emote with up to three players and additional players will each pick up, up, up a unique instrument to join in the fan. Anyway, moving us on to the last two items, we have the half ton hero, which is a nice little wrap. Not animated or reactive, but I love the fact that it does have like a pop art style to it. As you guys can see, going through various different weapon models now. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 4, you already know that was the Marvel Season. Last but not least, in the um, Daily Store, we have the Ribbon Dancer. Can't deny the Ribbon. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 3. Isn't, isn't that an Olympic event? Ribbon Dancing, I'm sure that's an Olympic event. I remember seeing it somewhere. I'm sure it's an Olympic event. Anyway, moving us on to the rest of the item shop. We have the lower bundles here. We have the Axion Sentinel Level Up Quest Pack. I've just finished the last set of quests to unlock the um, plume for this character, basically. Moving us on to the return of the Captain America and the Bright Star Bundle. We then have the Flakes Power Pack, which is still with us. And then last but not least, we have the Destiny 2 Collaboration. And then we have the Cores and the Cores Peely Bundle. And then last night, which was still technically brand new, we have the Fortnite FNCS Chapter two, Chapter 4 Season 1 Bundle. So, pretty much, guys, that is the special offers and bundles. But, guys, that is the item shop for Thursday night, taking us into early Friday morning. Again, I am so glad that I caught this. I did not want to miss this over the weekend. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know which is your favourite item from tonight's item shop. And are you going to be seeing Creed? And are you going to be buying this bundle? Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the team that's catch a vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as upload. But, more importantly, don't forget to stay a bit of the vibey and stay in the fight. Peace.